Hey everybody, Jay Barino here to wrap up this year's Map Arino. Map 2023 gave us 46 entries, and for the first time, Warcraft 3 brought us the highest number of submissions. 25 for Warcraft 3, 13 for Starcraft 2, and 8 for Starcraft Remastered. First and foremost, I want to thank channel members. You all continue to submit in large numbers. You're always there in the live streams. Your support means so much to me, and it makes this event truly special. So thank you so much. You're always there to support your fellow submitters as well. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Thank you. So of course, I have to thank all of the submitters. You all allow this event to continue. It's your hard work and your excitement to submit and see your work showcase that allow me to put on this event every year. I'd like to continue. And honestly, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on my end. So of course I know it's a lot of work on your end, but we're both having fun and that's really what matters. I hope you continue to have fun. I'd like to keep doing this. So thank you, thank you, thank you for submitting. I hope to see more in the future. All right, and I guess to follow the theme of this year's Map Arino in our pre and post stream banter, uh, Jay Barino's getting old and Jay Barino's really busy. And I'll be honest, when we finished the live streams, I sort of just started running on a steam and I traveled right after, so I just lost that momentum to make this video. I put it off too long and I apologize for that. So that being said, I just want to jump right into what my favorite was this year and then follow it up with some honorable mentions that I'd like to make. So my pick for Map Arino 2023 is Solitude, submitted by Earl's Good, also known as Zertool on the StarCraft II Arcade. This map is a top-down RPG shooter, and we did have a lot of RPG dungeon crawler-esque submissions this year, but what makes this one stand out especially are the extremely unique customizable options on your combat suits. Not only can you mix and match creative abilities on your own suit, like throwing doodads at enemies, you can customize AI-controlled suits that will then accompany you and seamlessly use those weapons and abilities that you choose for it. There's an in-game saving system, great use of custom music and ambient sounds, AI upgrades, AI personalities. Honestly, there's just so many little mechanics that come together to make something incredible beyond the sum of its parts that all I can really say further is you need to hop on the StarCraft II Arcade, which is free, and give it a try yourself. So congratulations, Earl's good. Also, I wanted to briefly highlight two other submissions that really stood out to me, both for Warcraft 3. Death to the Space Horde by Pyscythe highlights what can be done to dramatically increase the scale of Warcraft 3 macro maps by using global army commands. Not to say it's the first time that's ever been done, but combined with the changed resource mechanics and custom tech tree, this map just felt great to play for its size, when generally I feel Warcraft 3 tends to get kind of clunky the larger the scope the battles become. Next is Hell Funeral by Alan Spiron, which is another semi-dungeon crawler, it just oozes whimsy. The humor and absurdism of this one landed strong for me, only for me to find out that the absurdism was actually a theme that wrapped it all together. I want to discuss this more, but it's honestly for the player to discover at the end. You can also check out my playthrough of it on the live stream. Everything wonky and wrong that you see on the screen is 100% purposeful. Alright, so I want to be completely honest with you all, and this is something that happens every year. There's just a part of me, it just feels so guilty. I feel like I can't give credit to so many of the remarkable entries that deserve it. I feel like that there are at least 10 other honorable mentions I'd want to make, but editing this short video is already pretty taxing for me. I hate to say that. All I hope for is that you all map makers know how much I enjoy playing your maps. I recognize the time and effort you put into them, and that you can be confident in your creations. And hey, maybe that's why it's hard for me to get started on making these wrap-up videos every year. But that all being said, maybe also highlights how important it is to me to do what's core to Mapparino and the channel as a whole, which is showing off your stuff, whether it's a super polished scenario, a janky unconventional idea, a genre bending experiment, a vanilla campaign edit, the list goes on and on. So thank you again, viewers, channel members, all submitters. I'll see you for Mapparino 2024.